Take a seat, Clive. So you're really going through with it? Sis been talking about bringing down a mother crystal since I've known him. But that's all it's ever been. He's convinced it's the right thing to do. We'll be leaving for the capital shortly. <sighs> well, you couldn't have picked a better moment. Seems the eye in the Royalists gave him wasn't enough to dampen old Sylvester's spirits. His legions are on the march again. This time, due south. Another war. All as the great Grieger wills it. Bloodthirsty little miss, that one. That's well, God's for you, isn't it? Still, might work to our advantage on this occasion. Wars breed chaos. With a fair wind behind them, a handful of like-minded ne'er-do-wells could melt into the back alleys of Oriflam. No trouble. Is making it to the capital that's the problem. The checkpoint. That's right. Anyone traveling in or out of Oriflam has to go through Northreach. Lucky for you, I might just know of a way. This. Well, no, not that. That gets you an audience with the Dame. And it's the Dame who'll see you safely through Northreach. I'll send a Stolas in the morning. Let her know you're coming. We go way back. And she's a true friend of the cause. I'm sure you'll get on like a house on fire. That's good of you, but... Who is this dame, and where will I find her? She's the proud proprietress of Northreach's foremost house of ill repute. The Vale. And she's quite a woman, if you know what I mean. A woman? Right. <laughs> Don't go blind, you know, with your charm now, lad. I'll be expecting a full report when you get back. I suppose that's everything. Now to find Gav. The dime goes by many titles, including some that would make you blush. But only a trusted few know her real name. Don't worry about finding her. As long as you've got that satchel, She'll find you. The dame goes by many titles, including some that would make you blush. But only a trusted few know her real name. Don't worry about finding her. As long as you've got that satchel, she'll find you. Oh, you're the new lad, aren't you? Goat at your service. Well, at the hideaway service, anyway. Otto's put me in charge of reading through the reports sent in by our allies and picking out any problems that might warrant the attention of the curse breakers. Or any other willing volunteers. And there's no shortage of problems, I can tell you. <laughs> or maybe I don't have to. 
I'll warrant a strapping lad like you's got people begging him for help wherever you go. Anyway, if you're ever interested in taking a look over the list, just say the word. Reckon you could probably tick off the odd thing here and there. They say little acts of kindness are their own reward. But if that ain't enough, these have got proper bounties on them and all. Here you go. Ah, oh, you're Sid's man, if I'm not mistaken. Couldn't trouble you for some assistance, could I? It depends. What do you need? Some new bearers from Oriflam just arrived, and it cost Master Quinton a pretty penny to convince their owner to part with them. Man must have been a bloody tyrant. I can't get a peep out of them, try as I might. They're probably terrified of you. <laughs> You're probably right. They say it'd take a bearer like yourself to open them up. So, will you have a word with them? Help them settle in? I can try. That'll do me. Tell them they're safe, and that if they need anything, they just have to ask. I'll let them know. Appreciate it. They're sitting over there, taking a long overdue breather, looks like. So you're the new arrivals. Is there anything I can get you? You're safe here. They don't punish people like us for speaking our minds. Truly. I'm hungry. My sister too, we're starving. Wait here. I'll fetch you something from the tavern. Thank you. I won't be long. You stay here and rest. Did the grocer know his daughter? Can I have another cup? I'll have two plates of whatever you're serving. Sorry. We have enough mouths of our own to feed without tending to the wants of outsiders. It's not for me. Oh, my apologies. I didn't see the mark. So you're a comrade? Well, in that case, you may have whatever you require. Take all the bread and wine you want. That's really all it takes. One look at the innkeeper's mark. Of course it is. I do as Master Quinton commands, as do we all. And Master Quinton commands that none of his favored guests be left wanting. Well, don't keep our new comrades waiting. Take what you need and see that they eat their fill. You'll find bread and wine on the counter. If you need more, just say the word. You'll find bread and wine on the counter. If you need more, just say the word. I take it you're not here for a room?
What is there to know? <sighs> when I arrived... Yet... It is a rare day. And for what? Very good then. Can I have another cup? You'll find bread and wine on the counter. If you need more, just say bread and wine. Hopefully this will be enough. Uh, how many have I had? Don't tell me. Turnips for supper. Brother, did you see? <gasps> Here. Bread and wine from the tavern. May we? True. Plenty. Never in all my days. Brother, this place is like a dream. We sat and no one shouted. We ate and more was offered. I know. I got You're free now. Thank you. What happens to us now? Not ever again. But how did the grocer know his daughter had been stealing? Master Quinton will never forgive me if I don't save that. I want no trouble. Wait, wait, that's... Oh, glory to Grieger. You were the hanged man. I took you for a rogue. If you're a friend of Master Quinton's, then perhaps you'll help me. His vineyard, Lost Wing's pride and joy. And you need someone to solve you. I do indeed. I've never seen him so far from the forest, nor so me. I suppose the smell's gotten worked up. I tried chasing them off myself, but they won't. And if I don't bring those grapes in for pressing soon, Master Quinton and I... You look like you can handle that blady. Please, rid us of these wasps or... All right. Oh, thank you. you... Bet you'd like to see what's behind that door, wouldn't you? You're not on my watch. Tell me, turnips for supper.
That must be the vineyard. A few wasps shouldn't give me too much trouble. Looks like that was the last of them. I better let Quentin's man know. You know, mal in the village entry is no small task. There's plenty of to be a fine harvest. Don't tell me. Turn it for some. But how did the grocer know his daughter had been stealing? Those wasps won't be interfering with your harvest anymore. Oh, thank you. Master Quinton would have had my head if I'd lost the crop. I'd say you've earned a reward. Our goat and rouge fetches a handsome price among the rich and powerful of the realm. We use that money to keep our comrades fed and imperial wolves from our door. The vineyards were Master Quinton's idea. Well, he certainly seems to have done that here. I'll see that he hears of your kindness. Thanks again. Finally, I can harvest those grapes. And with the weather we've had, this year's will be a magnificent vintage for sure. 